was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey you guys, happy Halloween, this is Lone Best Mal. I got a battle against Nick at work, I asked him, this is, we're doing a Halloween special, I, uh, I got me a completely ghost and dark team, you know, getting a little bit festive. He leads with a knock towel, um, I missed with my will-o'-wisp, that sucked a lot, <laughs> cause he's nightshading me, and all I have is sucker punch, and it doesn't do that much. Like at the beginning, I just get totally raped by this knock towel. He played a, he played a really good match, actually. It was really, really close. A really fun match, too. Just <laughs> just kind of messing around with these fun pokes, I guess. So I switch in Mars, my uh, the Gengar. And uh, I'm going to go for Hidden Power Ice. Expecting him to switch? I could have T-bolted, but I didn't want him to predict the T-bolt and switch to something ground, like Gliscor, which he, end, which he does indeed have. Um... So, I switch out, I'm scarfed, and I don't want to stay stuck on that thing, so I switch out to Frost, um, or Frost, Frost actually, Frozen Ghost, see that? I got me some good nicknames this time. And I Ice Beam, and it doesn't kill him, he has like 5 HP, I was so pissed off, I was like, no! I thought I was going to get totally just owned up and down this game by this Noctowl, but, so the Ice Beam kills him, I'm, I'm even choice specced, but so now he brings in his Gliscor. Don't know why. And he leaves him in, and I ice beam him, and he dies. He says, yeah, I misclicked, and I didn't feel like fixing it. And I was like, okay, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. It's just a fun match anyway. Uh, he switches in Spiritomb. Now, I was worried about Pursuit. I was really worried about Pursuit, so I stayed in. But it turned out that he had Sucker Punch instead of Pursuit, so that sucked. It was really a 50-50 chance. Next, I switch in Darkness, which I messed up on her nickname, his nickname. Uh, it's supposed to be without the K, it doesn't really matter. i just kind of fucking around with some nicknames. I get a Toxic off. He taunts me, which sucks because this is a curse um, payback Umbreon. A lot of these are just random smoking sets that I haven't, I've never played with some of these pokes before, so I don't really know much about them. But Toxic, or the will o -Wisp misses. I knew he was going to will o -Wisp, so I switched in to something that was special based. Turns out it misses anyway. Um, I just want to go ahead and leave him in. I could have switched out predicting the Sucker Punch, and I knew the Sucker Punch was coming. I don't know. It was really a stupid idea, but it's... I mean, it ends up being okay. I bring in my pal... Um, what do you call it? Umbreon. Darkness. Um, I should have just cursed the first turn, because he taunts... But I protected to get some toxic damage. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then he burns me. Or no, I mean he misses with a little bit the first time, and then he burns me. And so I'm able to curse. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep cursing up because I figure with the math, I did some math. I only lose 25 HP every turn, so it's gonna take a while to die from the burn because I have lefties too. But I'm just gonna keep cursing up. He dies from the toxic, and he brings in a. Um, a Weavile. Now, I know the Brick Break's coming, and I have two curses up, but I don't really want to mess with it anyway. So I switch in Greylos, my Banette. My, this Banette, you've, I've seen, I've used it before. I haven't used um, him in a very long time. But, um, he does really well this match. Um, the Pursuit, I was like, I was really afraid of it killing me. It didn't kill me. I was, I was really, I was really impressed. I get a Will-O-Wisp off, it hits, and that was just fabulous. I switch, um, my Umbreon back in to take the Night Slash. Takes it, you know, wonderfully. He's burned and I resist it. I know that the Brick Break's coming, and I know that I'm going to take burn damage from this, but I know he's going to take more damage because he doesn't have lefties. Um, so I just do that just because I can. Um, yeah, at this point, all Umbreon serves to do is stall anyway. I switch in Spiritomb to take the, the Brick Break that I know is coming, and right now, I'm going to Sucker Punch him. It's not going to... Oh, it does... Yeah, that's right, it crits. I felt really bad about that. I was like, eh... But because he was burned, it wouldn't have hurt me that much anyway. So things would have been okay. He switches in um, a a Sharpedo. 
I need dark pulses, and I pain split. I was really afraid I wasn't going to survive, but I made it. And now, but here's the other thing. Here's the fun thing. I sucker punch him and rough skin, and I knew rough skin was coming, but I was hoping I would kill him, and I didn't end up killing him. So it's because of rough skin, he's able to take me out with a dark pulse. You know, it's really okay. It's really okay. Now, I have a Weavile of my own. I could take him out with Brick Brick, but I don't want to give that away. So I switched Graylos back in because it's I have Shadow Sneak, and I, I know that since it's a special Sharpedo, it probably doesn't have Aqua Jet. And it turns out that he does not have Aqua Jet. So Shadow Sneak, he switches in a Dusknoir, and he gets hit pretty hard because this is it's a Choice Banded... Uh, um, what do you call it? Choice Banded Banette. Um, so I switch in um, my Umbreon to take the Shadow Sneak. does really well. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna let off a toxic. Um, I hope this really I hope this works. I hope it hits. And I hit him, and it was really funny here. <laughs> we both I asked him. Pain split didn't do anything. I was like, did you have 194 HP too? And he totally did. It was pretty weird. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Halloween. What do you do? What do you know? Um, so I hit peg. Hit him with a payback. I probably should have just protected that turn because payback's not gonna do that much anyway. But what do you do? So I protect this turn, but he switches out back to his um, his Sharpedo. Maybe I should have hit him with a payback. Doesn't really matter that much. He dark pulses, and I survive. I was shocked. I survive with 2 HP, and I get off a Toxic. Now, the Toxic doesn't end up mattering anyway, because I die from the burn, but he doesn't die from the Toxic. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter that much. So the uh I'm gonna shadow sneak him though, and it's gonna kill him. He brings out his this guy right here. I shadow sneak and I was surprised that I outsped him. It really shocked me that I outsped him. But I did. Um so I hit him with a shadow sneak, and because of his lefties he survives the uh poison and I'm able to switch in my last guy. You get to see my whole team is his boogeyman, we have the same nickname. I swear to god I used it first, that bitch stole it from me. But I ice punch him for the KO. Random crit, nice useless crit, but you know whatever. Anyway, good match, Nick. Thanks a lot for it. I was I decided today that I wanted to do this special and I really needed to battle like right away. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy Halloween. Eat some candy. Adios.